good morning students myself buddy alikya assistant professor aml department rmd engineering college today we are going to discuss regarding expert system under that in detail we are studying what is initial learning and what are the different types of learning first just i give i am giving introduction regarding what is machine learning is a subset field of sub field of artificial intelligence the goal of machine learning is to understand the structure of data and fit the data into models that can be understood and utilized by the people in summarize i tell what is machine learning na it is ability to learn from the computer systems to do some actions or to do to reach the goal state so these are all the various machine learning techniques and applications so mainly the learning will be classified into two types one is supervised and another one is sup unsupervised supervised is labeled data and unsupervised is unlabeled data so under that we have again two categories classification and regression classification will support categorical values and regression will support numerical values these are all some algorithms regarding classification naive's biases decision tree random forest logistic regression ann and support vector machines ann so these are uh, for regression also we have linear polynomial regressions so some of the applications for classification algorithms used in email spamming filtering uh, detecting online fraud and healthcare risk predictions and optimal character recognition these are also some of the applications supported by classification algorithms as uh, here comes to the unsupervised learning is unlabeled data here we are not going to give any labeled data for training the machine so we are using uh, some grouping mechanisms or feature mechanisms to train the machine in a correct manner here some of the uh, algorithms available for unsupervised algorithms are clustering k means hierarchical clustering some of the real time applications supported by unsupervised learning or market segmentations so image segmentations for example weather predictions or earthquake studies uh, or otherwise in the sentimental analysis in the social networks and uh, those who in networks if any anomalies will happen it helpful to detect the anomaly in the network part so these are all these are all the two types of mainly two types and uh, generally it's classified into two types but at present uh, we disc we studied uh, types of machine learning as supervised unsupervised semi supervised and also one special type of learning is the reinforcement that we are going to discuss in the next session so uh, mainly in this lecture i am going to focus on only supervised and unsupervised and little part of semi supervised learning so already we discussed that uh, supervised learning we are providing labels so the labeled data will be given to the machine the machine uh, learn by the learn by using the labeled data and predict some answers based on that and the model will be evaluated this type of uh, learning we call it as supervised learning when you observe here when i pass the data as the fruit i have to give the name of the fruit and after 100 tried 100 data are trained like that uh, with the name and fruit uh, and if i am passing 101 image to the machine the machine can be able to find out the given fruit by its label this type of learning we call it as supervised learning when comes to the unsupervised learning so here unlabeled data just a group of data the sim based on similar of data for example i am passing some images to the system Uh, i pass the cat image first and i pass the dog image next if i if i pass the dog image for the next time now it has to group the dog image with the already presented dog image after grouping of that similar data it is going to find that whether the given image is dog or not here there is no label mechanism we are going to follow so this type of learning we are called it as we train the machine with unlabeled data and the feature extractions and our grouping of similar data we call it as unsupervised learning so uh, the third type of learning is semi supervised learning here the semi supervised learning is nothing but the combination of both supervised learning techniques and unsupervised learning technique if you are observed here in this diagram when i pass the uh, some data raw data i am going to classify it into two types one is unlabeled data and the labeled data if i combine this thing and for generating or predicting some output in the given 
input scenario na that type of learning we called it as semi supervised learning here if you observe here in this diagram na here there i am not giving any label to the given data so that data we called it as unlabeled data but when i pass these things two things i will mention that this is not a, this is face and this is not a face i labeled the name of the image it's a face it's not a face so uh, under uh, by getting the unlabeled data i i also applying some label to the unlabeled data and i am applying to the learning algorithm and predict some outputs na that type of learning we call it as semi supervised learning these are all the some of the applications of uh, machine learning and some of the problems will be tackled by using machine learning algorithm all you people know how, how documents classification will be done under machine learning uh, in the first uh, slide we discussed that one of the application for uh, so classification algorithm is spam detection whether the given whether the received mail is spam mail or not that will be determined by using this classification natural language processing everyone popular with chatbots and uh, machine translation mechanisms in that area we are applying nlp and uh, speech processing applications like alexa siri like that in that speech processing recognizing applications uh, it's also one of the machine learning uh, problem tackled Uh, tackled by machine learning some of the computer vision application mainly in medical imaging or character recognitions whether the whether to find out whether the given digit is a particular digit or not or uh, uh, fake detections for example uh, uh, fake detection na uh, if some images are morphing in the internet na uh, it can able to find by applying some analysis on that image uh, image we can find that the whether the given image is fake image or not the type of application also will be the type of problems also will be tackled by using machine learning algorithms mainly in the uh, research area research area for biological predictions modeling or identifying of some gene proteins and networks we are also using uh, we are also will be handled by using machine learning algorithm this is a flow for uh, machine learning algorithm first we formulate the problem and then we will clean the explore the data and we clean the missing entries missing entries is nothing but if null data is there you have to remove that null data and then we have to select which type of labels we needed for train the mission and then we fit the model under the training and testing data we have some ratio is there before going to train the mission most of the data we will be given as train and when we are going to validate the model or evaluate the results we need uh, test data so i conclude that if we be careful uh, the training data will be useful uh, to make the machine to learn from the data and the test data it will be useful to evaluate how much capability can able to uh, how much of capable can machine can able to answer after training after training can mich machine can able to answer for that questions or not will be cons uh, will be tested by using test data so if you observe here we have two types of uh, data underfit data overfit data right fit data we have to consider right fit in which scenario we are going to get the right fit data na so in equal in proportion what's the proportion is set by the machine learning algorithm if you have it is 70 30 training is 70 and uh, testing is 30 na the, the model will be evaluated in a accurate manner if you are increasing the training data and decreasing the test data or decreasing the uh, test data and increase increasing the vice versa if you are doing any modification it will be affecting the output prediction of the given model so you are not giving the data as underfit and you are not giving the data as overfit you can surely give the output in a right surely pass the data in a right proportions so these are the things already discussed in the previous slides collect data label data and after that we have extract the features play split the data set by using test and try and then determine the model which type of classification or regression or any type of cl clustering mechanism you are going to apply and train the models and analyze the model based on the test data and then deploy the your model in the real time environment this is a small introduction regarding what is machine learning and what are the types of machine learning how the data uh, real time applications and how machine learning flow will be executed in the real time environment in the next session we will discuss uh, with the tool how machine learning will be, algorithm will be implemented for uh, one real time applications and then also we will discuss what is reinforcement learning thanks thank you